Thanks for tuning in. Today is May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Star Wars Day. I know it's probably hard to hear me wearing this helmet. And I don't think I'm going to be able to continue to wear this the whole time. So I'm going <laughs> to actually take it off. I just, uh, I was looking at, looking down here. It's kind of tough to see through the, the mesh eyeballs. So give me one second. I'll be right back. That's good enough. That was that was uh, a good enough for the uh, Star Wars Day tribute there. But since it is Star Wars Day, I am going to also be doing a piece of artwork that has to do with droids because I can't get enough droids. I love all the droids in the Star Wars universe. So today we're going to do a BB-8 droid, a BB-9E droid, and an R2 D2. But then I'm gonna add a little. I'm gonna add a little Christmas flair to them, and then I'm gonna add a little uh, a little stinger on the end of the picture. Um, if you hear any background noise going on, my youngest son is in VR behind me right now. He's um, playing a job simulator, so I think right now he's working at a convenience store, probably throwing hot dogs around. I don't know. So we're going to draw our sketch first. So I was thinking of incorporating the the earth in the center of it, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to draw the droids, add a little Christmas flair, then I'll, I'll do my touch that I was going to do on the bottom. So we're going to start out with an R2 in the center. R2 is basically a garbage can. We all know that. So these are not going to be movie accurate here. This is all just for fun and games here. So we're going to draw R2. And I'm thinking to Christmas them up, someone's going to be wearing a hat, a Santa hat. Someone will be wearing a scarf and maybe a bow. But then I'm thinking maybe I, maybe I just come up with a, a droid on the spot kind of come up with my own creation the game that he's playing in the background here it sounds like a bunch of droids are going on because he's working in a job simulator so there's all these computer guys talking to him so it's kind of funny i hear robot sounds in the background i'm not sure if it's getting picked up on the mic but all right so we'll start with an r2 in the center now like i said i was going to do those three but i'm thinking i might just whip up my own droid on the spot type of a deal See if I can come up with a Christmassy theme droid. I did one a while back as one of my pieces of art for the day. Um, it was a droid that looked like a Christmas tree. So maybe I'll just import him into it. I don't know. Either that or the idea I was thinking would be like a gift box type of a droid. All right. So here's your R2 unit. He's just... Got all of his little ports here and his little roller in the front. I've been meaning to play that new, I don't know why I'm holding the mouse on the computer here with my other hand, um, play that new Star Wars Lego game that was re-released. I played it originally on the Xbox, but kind of looking to get the other one for the PS5 or something. And I was just thinking, with it being the new month, four solid months so far of nothing but Christmas artwork every day. Not taking its toll on me yet. I wonder at, at what point am I going to get sick of it. Probably like around vacation times and stuff like that when I'm off of work and then I have to still draw Christmas pictures. I don't know. All right. That's pretty crappy looking R2 here. But that's all right. This is coming from behind him there. It's like he's going to tip over if I kept him like this, but that's what we're doing. We're leaving him. So that'll be our R2. Like I said, I think I'm going to give him the Christmas hat, Santa hat, if you will. <clears throat> Last time I was in Disney, in the stores in downtown Disney area, they have uh, Christmas droids that they put out every year. I never buy them, but I, I should. All right, so now we'll do... Um, We'll do BB-8 on the left-hand side. So bb is just a spherical droid with a another sphere on the top for his head. And speaking of BB-8, I believe the actor that does the sounds for BB-8, the beeps and the boops and all that, is the same actor that talks for Sonic in the Sonic movies. So I don't know if you've seen the Sonic movies at all. 
but same actor ben schwartz i think his name is ben ben schwartz so schwartz also a christmas tie in there not the character himself but the name schwartz with a christmas story all right so bb8's got all these little designs on them a spherical ball and then the bb9e i have that droid as one of those uh sphero toys but that's kind of sitting over on the one shelf so i don't want to walk over and get it but he's pretty cool you can use the app on the phone to control him all right we'll hit uh the rest of them up when we do the color and then we'll do the bb9e droid over here again another is another sphere droid but his head that sits on the top isn't uh, spherical there like BB-8. It's more of a uh, I don't know, like a soda cap type of looking thing. He's cool because he's all all black, very Darth Vader inspired. All right, so that's going to basically do it for the sketches there. So now I'll add the, the Christmas flair to them. So I think BB-8 is going to get a nice scarf here. Scarves are pretty, pretty simple, just a fold. And then we'll have a piece coming out here. And I think this scarf is going to be... Red and white stripes, candy cane style. And now I'm thinking for BB-9E, I'm thinking maybe, maybe we hook a Santa Claus beard onto him somehow. Make it really hang down and sloppy there because, yeah, that works for me. All right, so now we're going to add our next layer. We're going to go to the inking. And I'm wondering if I should do syrup or if I should go... Maybe a little thinner. I don't want to do fine tip, but maybe maybe technical pen. Let's see what that looks like here. Pretty fine line, so we'll stick with that. All right, so two ways we could do this. I could follow the scarf drawing and then draw everything on top of it, or you could draw the droid and then do another layer with the scarf on top of that, and then it would cover what you drew. But I think for, for my purposes here, I'm just going to draw right on top of the pencil layer now if it's a little too hard to see which it kind of is for me I'm not used to drawing with the finer tip thing like this you could go to your pencil layer and you could lighten it up a little bit that way you could see exactly what you're doing so that'll be the scarf there for BB-8 We'll put his little dome on the top here. I hear an old lady in the grocery store that my kid's working at here. All right, so BB-8, top of his head is gray. He's got some antennas up there. All right. Um, bump the eraser again. I think for some reason it's just registering two fingers when I do that. I, I have no idea. Still can't figure out what I'm doing to cause that. All right. Um, I don't want to get too much into the intricacies and the designs here of BB-8 because some of these droids got a lot, a lot of stuff going on here. All right, now we'll finish the bottom part of him, which is a, a sphere. Some of his pattern work. I'm just laughing here and the stuff going on in the background. I'm, I'm kind of 
wondering if the microphone's able to pick that up. If it is, hope you're enjoying it. It's quite, quite humorous. All right, good enough for, for BB-8's design here. Again, a lot of little rivet holes and, and whatnot. And that's good enough for BB-8. We'll move on. I'm going to do R2 last. We'll go over here to BB-9E. We'll start with his Santa beard. So all day at work, and I'm, I'm sitting here trying to think, what can I do? Star Wars related, Christmas, all at the same time. And not not do the Star Wars Christmas special. So then I, I came up with the droid idea and I'm like, all right, I got it. And then a little bit later, the, the little stinger that I'm going to put on the end of it popped into my head. So I'm like, all right, this, this will be perfect. All right, where are we at here? I'll just draw a few of these. Again, not, not movie accurate, so don't hold me to that. I get it. Okay, now he's got a few antenna on the top of his head. And we'll switch down to his body here. Okay, then I'll add his, very similar to BB-8, with the circles and everything on them, just a different pattern. Okay, that's going to be good enough on this because this droid these like his his pieces on him just kind of look like a vent so we're just going to draw them like this okay and pop a few rivets on him and whatnot all right now we'll move over to r2 Start with his slouching Santa hat here. All right. Finish up the R2 unit, then I guess I'll. I'll add one more. So I'm going to shrink them down so I have more room. And I'll add a Christmas-themed droid. Okay, we'll get the bottom part here. Again, there's all, there, there's so much to this part of him, but for our drawing purposes and the sake of time, we're just doing it very minimal. And this pen doesn't help that it's like thin like this. That's why I don't use these type too often, just because it takes a lot more to make it look like a a nice fully developed picture. In my eyes, this kind of just looks like you sketch something out with a pen. All right, 
work on the center here of R2. And then he's out of here because we'll do one more guy, color them in, add my stinger, and call it a Star Wars day. All right, perfect, good enough. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is shrink them down a little bit, move it up here, get rid of my pencil layer since I don't need it anymore. And then I'm thinking, you know, let me bring the pencil layer back. I'll go to that, I'll shrink and move that just so it's out of my way. And I'll sketch in my new droid sure I'm on the right layer okay so this one's just gonna be your typical Christmas present droid so he'll have a little little bit of depth to him here make him a cube um, give him a few a few droid things on him here like a Let's do, let's make this one a real clunky looking droid. So we'll just give him like a really crappy looking wheel set up under the center there. And <laughs> wonder if we should put a head on him. Yeah, I think it's funnier this way. Maybe the bow. Could act as a, a head. All right, so there we got, let's see what we can name this. I think we'll name him gift.e droid. So now we're gonna go back to my ink layer, ink him up. Um, I don't know. You have to, you have to look at it. Try to maybe start the game over. I don't know. Push the one button on the controller. I think it told you before how to, how to do that to change the game. All right. A few rivets on the side of them here. Little little box okay so that's going to be our our outlines so we're going to reference layer that get rid of pencils add a new layer and then we're going to start coloring so we'll start with the new gift droid gift.e droid he's going to get some nice golden yellow wrapping paper colored box then we'll go in and Fill in all these parts that are miscolored here. Give him a nice red bow. All right, then we'll do a few different colored. I don't like that red choice for there. We'll do a few different colored pieces here. And let's add a little bit of blue to them. 
This is like the worst droid in Star Wars history. If I ever saw this thing running around somewhere, I'd tip it over for sure. I probably didn't finish filling that in. So we'll just hand color it. See the opening up there that I missed. All right. Now we're going to move on to BB-8. Um, let's select his scarf. And again, we're going to do that red and white stripes. So we only have the scarf selected. So no matter... Oh, that's not red. So no matter what I draw, it's only going to stay within the lines here. That would never look like that. Okay, and these are going to come this way. All right, so that's BB-8 scarf. Um, now we're going to color him in. He's basically just orange, orange and white with a little bit of gray. So let's start by drop filling in some of this orange. And I know I'm going to have to go in and recolor everything, but I'm fine with that. For now, we're just going to, this part I'll do by hand because I know I missed a lot up here. All right, um, let's switch to gray. Do the top part of his little head there. Um, a couple other parts on him are gray as well. And black for the center here and black for here. And I gotta go back to white because I gotta clear out some of this. I guess I could have just erased it as well, but we're right here, so we're going to color it. Perfect. All right. Looks like BB-8 is done. We're going to skip R2 for now. We'll go to BB-9E. It's all black. I don't really like doing stuff solid black just because it's impossible to see everything then. So we're just going to do this guy a darker gray for now. And I missed a lot of stuff on him. So we're going to, let me back that out. Let me just color this whole top piece in here. It's probably, what time is it? 6.53, okay. Yeah, I guess we're right around where we normally are when we're almost done. I was going to say, this, this piece seems to be taking a lot longer, and it's very shitty as well, but that's all right. All right, we'll fill these in. Then we're going to come through with silver, or as silver as we can get, and fill in all these pieces around the vent part. Then we'll dirty up his beard a little bit. A lot of these parts are silver as well. Then we got to put a nice red dot right in the center here. Okay. Now we'll give him his dirtier beard. So we'll, it's a little, a little too dirty. All right, now we'll switch over to R2, we'll finish him up. I'm sure there's a lot of spaces open on this one because I was really quick about it. Yeah, so I think it's just better if I fill the stuff in by hand. All right, we'll do 
this part. All right, now I'm going to do the Santa hat. Yeah, that figures I left something open on there somewhere. Then we're going to add a couple of shadows. Then our, our little Christmas stinger for the picture. And then that'll be it. Okay. We'll add some uh, some little hose wire little guys coming out there, and this piece of silver. That's not good. Okay, now we'll add another layer. We'll do some shadows. We'll start. Over here with gift dot e. All right. Not too not too much going on with him. Do some sh shading over here on BB-8. I don't like these thinner pens for the shading. I like to have a nice uh, bigger line for shading, but we're going to stick with it since we already did it. I don't want it to look odd. All right. All right, BB-8, or R2-D2 is good. We'll head over here, do a little bit of work on him. Okay, and then we'll do some white for some highlights on them. And then these guys might be good to go. Okay, then comes the little Christmas stinger here. So, we're going to pick a color. Let's, uh, let's do yellow. Star Wars font color yellow. Um, I don't have Star Wars font on here, so we're going to handwrite this. Let me see how this looks. All right. Let's do this first. Didn't like that part. All right, we're going to fill that in. And then we're going to add our stinger on top of this, just to separate it from the background a little bit there. Back to the yellow. We're still on calligraphy, so we're going to shrink it down a little bit. And here we go. Droid. 
two. The. Droid to the world. There we go. That's great. That was the stinger that had me giggling at work all day today. So we're going to sign the bottom here. Put the date on it. And that is the piece I call Droid to the World. So we'll zoom in here, give you a peek of each guy. I can get my my helmet back on here for for the ending here. Because that's important. Alright. So here we go. We got gif.e bb8 r2d2 and bb9 e. Droid to the world. Thank you guys for watching. Maybe I should take this off if I'm going to talk. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, I'll be back here next week. So make sure you check the video out. Um, it'll be over on YouTube if you give me a follow over there. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at Agu Designs, A-G-U-E-D-E-S-I-G-N-S for daily Christmas art. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys next week.